Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another plan with me. Today I'm going to be decorating the pages in my classic happy planner for the week of February 1st through the 7th. I plan on doing a princess spread and I have a couple of princess sticker books. This is the most recent princess sticker book that came out. I want to say it's still available at least on the happy planner website. I know it was available on the happy planner website and in stores. I'm not sure if it was Michael's or Joanne's, which one it was, but I'll make sure to link it. Uh, I actually love this one the most out of all of the princess sticker books. I just love like the big stickers that are in here. It's just decorative stickers some quotes. And I really like this because I tend to pair the princess stickers with like other, other stickers like florals, boxes, um, I have this one, which is the only like mega one that I've been able, that I have from the Princess Collection. And it has some like boxes and stuff I can use. And then I, oh, I also have this one. This is a, also another recent one that has colorful boxes. So I'm going to be using these and then some florals because I do like to pair florals with the princesses. That's just something I've always been doing when I do a princess spread. All right. So the princess I chose to do for this week is actually gonna be Jasmine. I love the color scheme with Jasmine. I've been really wanting to use these for like the longest time. Um, but her color scheme in here is like this purple and like the teal color, which I love this color combo. So I'm gonna go with those colors to make this spread. All right, so I don't have much going on this week. I think I just had a bill that's due and a payday. And other than that, just like normal to-dos, but nothing like, no appointments and things like that that I need to uh, take care of. So I'm actually going to pull the florals first. So I have fun florals. I think this is still available too. It's such a good sticker book. But I'm going to pull these. I really like these florals because they're the color combo that the jasmine stickers are in. The pretty teal and then the purple. So I'm going to use these florals. I might have to cut out some of these from the uh, clusters because I only want to pull the purple and the teal colors. But I have a couple pages. I have that page and this page. And then I also have another sticker book that has the same stickers in it. I think I don't think I've used these in a spread yet. So I, I think I have enough to do a classic spread that's kind of what I was worried about when I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to do what princess I wanted to do what florals I wanted to use I had to make sure I had enough for at least a classic spread if not I would have done if I didn't have enough I would have done a mini spread with these stickers but yeah I definitely will have enough so I'm just gonna pull all of these stickers at least from this first page that I can work with all right so with these these clustered ones. I'm actually going to cut around this just with my scissors and just take the purple out. Sometimes you just got to cut your stickers and make them work for you. And then I could totally use that in another spread because I normally put these like on a corner so I cover up that corner. So this is still a usable sticker so I'll just stick that back in my sticker book. But yeah I'm just going to keep pulling all right, so I got lots of purple and the teal colored florals. And then also some of these rose gold leaves because I like to add those onto the florals. And then this is what I'm left with. Still lots of stickers I can use actually in other spreads because honestly, this is a good color combo that I might use in a spread in the future. And then I still have a ton left. Actually, I actually have all of them left on the other page. All right, I think for now that's a good amount of florals that I can work with. I'm going to grab the princess stickers that I want to use. Um, so I'm going to go with Jasmine. Like I said, I really like, I think that one's cute. I like that one, that one, and that one. I'm hoping I can get those three to fit on the page. I also like that quote. Yeah. So I'm just going to pull them. So I have those three, which I think is super cute. And then I might add in some of the, these little, like, stars. And I for sure want to add that quote. I like that one. All right, so I'm going to start figuring out the layering of these florals over here. Probably in this corner. I'm just going to start putting some down over here. 
All right, let me find some washi that I can possibly add. Oh, hold on, still adding florals. All right, all right, so I'm gonna um, get some washi. Okay, so I found a wash sleeve. This is a Simply Gilded washi that I actually haven't used yet. It's got like this star pattern on it. I believe this is gold, but it kind of looks a little rose gold-ish. I think I might use this, even though it's white. So, I mean, it's only the foil that's really gonna be showing. I think I'm gonna add it because I, I like it. It's fun. So I'm gonna put this down here. And then I have this purple one that I might add with it. Let's see how this looks. I just wanted something thicker and I didn't have a thick, well, like a thicker washi, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put her down, which she might end up covering a lot of that washi now that I'm thinking about it, but it should be fine. Oh, she's actually gonna cover that floral. Okay, probably don't need this one on the page just so that way I don't waste it. Okay, let me put her down first. Okay. And then I wanted to put this up here. That's why I needed her to be closer over here because I didn't want all of this to be right on top of each other. And I did want this. I mean, it does take up a lot of room, like I said, but I really like it. I still have all of this space to write or to put functional stuff and yeah, I think that works right there. I like that. And then I'll probably add her over here, maybe in the middle somewhere on this side, possibly. And then I'll probably add in some florals, maybe here. And then maybe like a box, like a functional box here. All right. All right, it's coming together. <laughs> so actually I need to get functional boxes. Oh, and I'm gonna pull this first sorry I don't forget to use it okay and oh another thing I'm gonna forget to do is add more washi so I'm gonna put this washi I feel like this is perfect for up here with um I might have to lift this actually okay so I'm gonna put some washi down here or up here stars cute and then I'm gonna put the purple washi up on top and put that back I really like that. I think that looks pretty. And then hopefully you can see like little stars. Yeah, when I hold it this way, you can see the stars. Cute. All right, so I'm gonna get some functional boxes, which I have the colorful boxes for the princesses. So this one has all the princess um, stickers in here. So I have these. All right, I like these, but I don't like that they have her on them. That's my only thing about these stickers. So I have this one that doesn't have like a, um, well, it just has the lamp. So I could put this here. This is like a functional box for that day. And then maybe a box here. Which I think which box. So I'm gonna have this one. 
if I add this, I'm going to have to find something to cover her up. So I'll have to try to find something for this box to cover up her. Just so I don't have her all over the place. And then, oh, I have these boxes that just have the lamp. I don't mind putting the lamp multiple times on the page. That should be fine. I have this today was great. I could add that on one of these. Or even like I have the genie. I don't have, I don't plan on putting the genie, but I could put the genie in this sticker. That would work. Okay. I need to get some purples actually. I might go into a colorful boxes to get some some more boxes that don't have like the girls on them. Let me check in here first. Ooh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, so I have these. I can use these. I like a purple one. It's like a dark purple. Oh, I have a quote. The bravest thing you can be is yourself. I could cover her up with this. Could possibly put that there. And then I have these. Oh, I have these too. Okay, so there's some good stuff in here. I'm actually going to look for a sidebar sticker because I do want to put a sidebar so I need to find one of those let me cut this first okay so one of the dilemmas that I'm starting to run into is sometimes I don't have a long side by side sidebar sticker because the colors that I like to use I tend to use those first and I'm running out so I already looked through a bunch of my sticker books. I have found one purple one that I hadn't pulled yet, but it's not the right kind of purple. It's this one. I kind of don't like it. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like it's too dark. I mean, it actually does kind of match. I don't know. Should I use it? It's far away from those. Let me try layering some of these floors with it. Oh, I ripped them. Fantastic. This is going great. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I accidentally ripped it. It ripped in half when I was pulling it off. But that's okay. I'm going to layer some of these behind it. That way, hopefully, it's not as noticeable. I'll have to cut this off, though. I like the clear stickers. They're easy to layer with. All right, so I was gonna add this here. I'm gonna check it out and see how it looks. It's not horrible. I think it can work actually. All right, and then that's like my last purple sticker. I think my last sidebar purple sticker. I'm going to take this one and I wanted to put her, wow, she's going to take up a ton of room. Should I put her here? No. Uh, let me see. I wanted to put her here. I'm going to lightly put her there. And then I have this quote. Thinking of putting it here. But for now, I'm going to put down washi the same way that I did on the other side. I'm gonna put it down. Oops, let's put this one down first. Just to match the right side. Okay, I think I'm gonna layer it like this or lay it down like this. Cause I kinda like that the quote is coming sort of out of the lamp or it kind of looks like it's coming out of the lamp I like how that looks so I'm gonna leave it like that I think that works yeah all right 
So at least I got all the big stickers down. So now I just need to figure out how I'm gonna add my functional stuff in here because we definitely wanna get functional things on the page. So I have this. I don't know if this is gonna be too boxy. It's really crooked. Let me fix that. All right, so if I put this here, I can use this for the weekend, this box. And then I can put some bullet points down here or just right in this white space. Gosh, I feel like this thing is so crooked. I think this is crooked. But yeah, I can just use this for the weekend. All right, I need to get another box like that over here on this side. So I'm gonna find at least this shaped box. I need, or maybe one of these would be good. Okay, I could put this here. I might add in some florals. I think I need more florals because I only have like the small ones now. But let me just layer these together. Okay, so this could go for Monday. At least I have two of those. Oh gosh. Two of these shaped boxes, which I never know how to use, so I'm glad at least I got them on the page. I might cover. Oh, I should have the purple one. Do the genie, it's so magical. Just to get him on the page. Might put this somewhere. All right, and then I have these little stickers. Oh, I have this box, this is perfect because I wanna get this color over here on this side. So I'm gonna just layer this here with this box. I have this box. I'm gonna put it here. All right, and then I have some purple boxes which I got from Jewel Tone Boxes that I can put in a couple places too. I layer this together? I kind of like it separated just to get something over here. And then I might add in some bullet points. It's looking super full though. And I need to find something for here. which I have no idea what I wanted to use. So I'm really loving how this was looking. I was kind of skeptical at first about this because yeah, I wasn't sure how these florals, even though they matched, I wasn't sure if these florals were gonna go well. And then also the size, even though I do, do love using these larger stickers in my planner, sometimes they can be a little bit much on the page. But like I said, this is a perfect week for me to use these since I don't have much going on. And I can write really small if I need to. <laughs> so, so right now the, um, the design, the aesthetic of the spread is winning out on like, actually, no, it's functional. It's functional. I don't want to say that it's not functional when it is functional. All right. So I have this quote. It says, let your soul and spirit fly. I like it, but you know what? I think it's too, it's too much on the page, even though it's kind of perfect. 
I'm not going to use it. All right, so I need to find something for here. I'm going to add florals here, and I want to add some bullet points to a couple of days and probably put in some washi, more washi. Um, and then I think I should be good. Oh, there is one more quote. Okay, so I like this stay magical and chase your dreams. Maybe to add with her down here. Oh, you know what? Let me wipe this out with a whiteout pen. I meant a jelly roll pen, not a whiteout pen. It's kind of like a whiteout pen though. So I'm just gonna wipe this out. I like to use this for like fine lines versus like using my correction tape, especially for clear quotes. It just looks a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna try to find something for that sidebar just to fill in that gap. All right, so I'm gonna put this down because it's been drying for a bit. And that can go here. Oops. Of course, it's crooked. Chase your dreams. Cute. All right. I think I found something for here. I don't know why wellness, the wellness sticker book is always like my go-to. It's so strange how many functional stickers that you can have in here. I don't know. I would have never thought, I mean, I bought these and I never touched them because I kind of was like, oh, I'm not doing wellness. But there's so many good functional boxes and bullet points and different things in here that you can use in any spread. And the original wellness, these are my favorite. Okay, so I have these boxes. This one says Think Happy Thoughts, which I think is cute. I don't know if this one's going to work here. Actually, no, because you know what? I have these two colors. They're very, very similar. So I did find something else. I found in the regular wellness sticker book. I found these in rose gold, which pairs with the leaves and the florals. So this, this one says you are stronger than you know. I kind of like that. So I'm going to put that here just to fill in this spot. And I might lower this a bit just that way there's not a huge gap right there. All right. I really like that cute and at least the sidebar is full like how I like it all right so I'm going to move on to I want to add florals over here to this box and I'm thinking where should I add the florals I kind of want to add them here yeah here in this corner so I have a couple left they're very similar to these I don't know maybe I should pull some more the same exact I don't want it to be the same exact as that so I'm gonna pull a little bit more from the florals so I'm gonna go on this page and I'm gonna grab let's see maybe I can do another purple just to change it up a bit so at least this one will have three florals instead of two in this cluster and I'm just going to, no, maybe this should go over here. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna lift these up, stick these under here. Put this back. That is my payday, so that is a great day. So that, at least that sticker makes sense there because I can write my payday in that box. And I'm just gonna put a couple of these little leaves All right, cute. I feel like I have enough clusters here. I have tons of clusters actually now that, look, now that I'm looking at it, um, but it, it it's good. Um, yeah, I think it works. You know what? I think for this spread, I'm gonna show you how I write in it even though I have, actually no, I'll, I'll just do it after the pen. Um, I'm trying to think of my schedule for next week, what I'm doing. Oh, I might be able to do one, um, like a write in my planner. So you can see, even though like this week is going to be pretty boring, I don't really have anything going on. Um, last week I had a lot of like, 
appointments, taking my car to, uh, to, um, Toyota and different, I don't know, I had a bunch of things I had to take care of this week. Okay, I need to fix this actually. But yeah, it's, it's not going to be a very, like, fun spread to write about, but at least you can, I can show you how I use my spread when I don't have a lot of plants or a lot of things that I need to take care of. And, um, how I can write in these, in this like really full spread because it, it's got a lot of stickers on it, but it's still gonna be super functional. So I already know, I know how I plan. So for me, like this is gonna be enough room since, yeah, I just know. So yeah, trust me, it, it's enough room for me. All right, so I'm going to, um, what am I gonna do? I forgot. Oh, I remember. I'm gonna add just more decorative stuff. And oh, I wanna do bullet points. I'm gonna do that first, actually. So, let's see. Wellness Mini has bullet points. I'm pretty sure it has the colors I need. Yeah, perfect colors in here. So I have these purples. I really like the dark purple, actually, just so it pops a little bit more. Well, I have light purple, too. And I have this, like, teal color. Cool. So I can use these around the page a little bit. Let me see how this... Yeah, because this kind of ties in this perfectly, actually. So I'm going to add a couple of these. All right, so I added some bullet points. I also extended this washi out, which I never do. I don't know why, but it actually looks good because I felt like it was empty over here. So I just extend added a little bit of washi to where I cut it just to make it go all the way across the page. And then I actually um, changed this floral because I noticed that this color kind of is similar to this box. So it kind of tied it in a little bit. So I wanted to add um, a floral with those with that color leaves um, to that side of the page. I really love how it looks. It's so cute. Um, there are still a couple finishing touches because I'm all about like the little details. And I really, really, really love this sticker book. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Uh, this one right here. I'm telling you, this one's my favorite. If you're gonna, I don't even know if you can find the other ones because they were so hard to find, but I'm pretty sure this one is still available. And honestly, I think the, this one is the best one. Um, as long as you have like boxes, which a lot of us have the colorful boxes, sticker book, this one, this one is like all you really need. It's so good. So I wanted to add these little star pieces just, just to add them because I think they're cute. So I'm just going to add these in a few places. I have some yellow ones and I have some like tealish ones that I can add just in different spots around the page. All right. So I added some of those little star pieces around the page. I love how that looks. And then I'm going to take some of these little circle stickers and I want to add these to a few of the boxes. So I'm going to put a reminder. I like to have that bar for like just a, a list of things I want to get done during the week. And I'm going to take this today. I think I'm going to cover this up. I want purple down here. And I might put one over here. I'll put this important I feel like I have too many circles on this side, so I'm going to take that one off. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do this one over here today. All right. I think that spreads them out a little bit more. At least I have two on each side. All right. It's super full. I know. But like I said, I'm probably going to show how I use this. So that way you can see how functional it is, even though I have tons of stickers. How functional it is for me, at least, with my not busy week this coming up week. So yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. I'm just gonna cut out these little holes uh, so that way I can put this back in my planner. All right, 
I'm gonna put this back in my planner. This is so pretty. I think, okay, this spread is probably my favorite classic princess spread that I've ever done so far. And then the Pocahontas mini one is still like, that one, I love that one so much. But this one definitely is in the top for me. I've done a few princess spreads, but I absolutely love this. Honestly, a lot of it has to do with the color combo, but I love Princess Jasmine. She's my fa my um, sister's favorite princess. My favorite is Aurora from Sleeping Beauty, but my sister loves Princess Jasmine. <laughs> and I know she's gonna love this spread. It's so cute. I was actually like planning on doing, I was waiting to use this, these stickers for spring, but honestly, like, I don't, I don't feel like I need to be boxed into like, oh, this is only for spring. I have to be in spring weather in order to do a spring spread. I live in Southern California. It's never winter. It's kind of cold here right now, but it's like cold for California. So it's not really that cold. Um, but, but yeah, I did a, like a springish spread and that's okay. I, I love it. I love how it turned out. So I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. I will make sure like stay tuned because I will be writing in this for the week. So that way you can see how I use this spread. And I'm excited to do that. I haven't done one of those in a long time. So I need to, I want to at least do one of those once a month. So starting, I guess, February, that's when I'll be doing that. But yeah, here's my spread. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.